Hi Aquarius, welcome in. Welcome to SelfQuest. I'm Spence. Welcome back if you're a subscriber, by the way. Today I'm doing a reading for you for the week of October 4th through the 10th, and we're going to have a new moon on the 6th on Wednesday that is a beautiful new moon. It is conjunct Mercury and Mars, which I think gives energy and zhuzh to good communication, working things out in relationships, maybe talking about finances or funds, but be careful because, you know, obviously with Mars, it can get a little heated. So, you know, <laughs> heads up. Also, I want to say on the 7th, Pluto, who has been in retrograde for five months, working on us as far as our inner, our, our empowerment, right? It's about power. And so we, it's, it helps us to stand up for ourselves, right? our own rights, our own right to live the way we want to live and be who we want to be and have our own sovereign power, our own autonomy. So issues like that could be coming up. There could be butting of heads, but with Pluto moving forward this week on the 7th, I think that there's going to be some changes afoot this week. Okay, then on the 10th, we also have Saturn, the taskmaster, the granddad that makes us work really hard for things, which has been in retrograde for four whole months which is very, very slow progress, working on us internally, helping us to work really hard for what we want to change to improve our lives. Well, that's finally moving forward as well. So big things happening. At the end of October, we'll talk more about a couple more planets going forward again, including Mercury coming out of retrograde. But for this week, here we are. Okay, so this week we're going to use the Enchanted Map Oracle. This is by Colette Baron reed with the artwork of Jenna Della Grotalia, which I am a big fan of her artwork, so I have to say, love that. And the Tarot of Mystical Moments by Katrine Welts Stein. And I'm going to trip over my tongue, all Mercury retrograde, because I'm all made of Mercury, so I'm just saying. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> all right, let's pull three for you from the Enchanted Map Oracle for you today, Aquarius. Did I say Aquarius? I hope I did. Hi, Aquarius. <laughs> All right, three for Aquarius for the week of October 4th through the 10th in the Enchanted Map Oracle. Aquarius, let's see what we have for you today. I'm also gonna do a nine card spread from the tarot. I'm gonna go horizontally, vertically, and big picture. So stick with me. We're gonna read these three oracles first, and then we're gonna end the reading uh, with a big picture. I'm also going to read the bottom of the deck, which really gives me an indication about the internal stuff, what's been going on sort of subconsciously, coming to the surface, that kind of thing. All right. Three for you. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. Beautiful. So why don't you settle in with me, okay, Aquarius? Let me do one thing. Put my card there for you. Okay. Aquarius. First you get wishing well. Nice. And spark, beautiful, and heal the ouch. All right, well, whatever it is that, it, that you're trying to heal from, I really think it's been something you've been wishing for, and I think that you're going to have that spark. I think that there's perhaps at the new moon, right? It's a new moon. It's filled with potential. New moons are about possibilities and potential. In the darkest part of the night, with a sliver of the moon, we make our wishes on, our, on the stars, right? We pray, and we ask, for the best, the blessing to come in. And I think that might be what you're doing. And with Spark, I just want to get, I want to see what sentence she wrote about that card. You are a clear channel for divine creativity. So let me show you these. Wishing well and then Spark. One second. Okay. There's a spark of creativity in you and you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope. Yeah. Open yourself to inspiration and allow life to show you its beauty and your part in co-creating it. This is a perfect time to give birth to an idea. There you go. I love that. Now through Mercury retrograde, you're going to be sort of going over it, right? Checking, double checking, triple checking. But there's something here, something new that you're wishing for. And you've got the energy to do it. And with Heal the Ouch, you might be wishing for healing. Right? Maybe inner work. That maybe you're working on facing fears or, you know, finding courage, the courage to live the way you want to live or to go for a dream that you want, right? I love that. 
If you've been ill, then maybe you're just wishing to hurry up and, you know, get better. So that is very possible. And the wishing well is, of course, all about putting your wishes and hopes into the universe and allowing it to bring it to you, right? With all the planets that have been in retrograde, especially throughout 2021, we knew this was going to be a big year of transformation and change. The USA has been in a Pluto return, so I live in the U.S., and... I have to say, you know, I think we're all feeling that, obviously, politically and in every other way. <laughs> There's been a bit of a, a great divide, and I'm really hopeful that we're going to find common ground. All right, so one flew out, six of wands, that's nice. Following your dream. Yeah, and doing well. All right, then we have the sun. That's gorgeous. I love those two together. And the star, come on, Aquarius. Okay, that's your card. I'm going to show you these cards as soon as I lay them out. All right. The Death card, Transformation. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Abundance. And the Seven of Pentacles, coming up with a plan and asking for help, for guidance. The Two of Swords, trying to make a decision. King of Cups. Maybe from your heart, not your head. Huh, Aquarius? That's not easy for you. You're incredibly logical. You like to make a plan and stick to it, right? <laughs> and the Four of Cups. Okay, then we have a Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Hangman. Uh-huh. Okay. So let's look at these together. Wishing well. Hoping, praying, wishing. The spark. Manifesting with the universe as your divine partner. Bringing God into the equation. Whatever you deem to be God or source or light or love. The whatever that, that you believe that is greater than you. In all humility, when you look up and you ask, please help, <laughs> you know, you're wanting to heal an ouch. Heal the ouch. So you may be doing some inner work. I mentioned in another video, it was Carl Jung who, who came up with the term, you know, shadow work. We all have light and we all have shadow, right? Don't we? All of us, right? And so... If that's something you've been doing, a little bit of inner work, I think that you are going to be really inspired and understand that it's all been really worth it because a transformation is happening here for you. I can see that on the table. Okay, under the deck we have the Nine of Wands. And if you look very closely at this card, you can see that she has stitches across her chest. She's been tangled up in a rose bush and she's been scarred by all the thorns. And this is sort of an allegory for life, isn't it? Because life is wonderful and beautiful and has many incredible things for us to all experience, especially love. But there's the thorns, right? Every rose has its thorn. Now I'm hearing that song. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have the Ace of Pentacles. So maybe you've been scarred trying to plant your need seed. Maybe it's been very, very hard this year to get going, right? To create abundance. If this has been about work, Maybe you've had to change jobs a number of times or you haven't been able to find a job or you've had to restructure your day and work in a different way than you ever have before. A lot of people are working remotely, right? And a lot of companies have changed almost everything from the top down. They're, they've had to, right? That's what we're going through, these Pluto-Uranus squares, right? And these um, the Saturn square. So I have to say, with the hangman, Right now, you may be feeling a little stuck, waiting, trying to get another perspective, and hoping that this waiting period for this new Ace of Pentacles, something that's going to last, to begin, this new beginning. Maybe you've, been, you've planted the seed, you've seen very little growth, right? But it's creating deep roots. That's the progress you can't see yet. That is Saturn, creating the deep roots, right? But this is Pluto making us just have to look at everything from every angle because we're not walking our life path alone. We have others on our life path. So obviously we have to see things through their perspective as well when we're in, you know, working in tandem with others. So I think you're really working hard. I think you've been scarred. And I think that you, you know, you're trying to grow this beautiful rose bush. You're trying to plant your seed. You're trying to make it grow. Well, the roots are there, okay? So don't worry. The roots are there, and you will be given the spark that you need to continue on, to stay inspired or to get inspired. 
because something is healing deep inside of you. Okay, if you're a person that gets, you know, easily dejected or depressed or discouraged every time, you know, there's a hiccup or a hitch or a problem, that might be the ouch that you're healing. It's creating within you the deep rooted strength of resiliency. That's Saturn in retrograde. It's been in retrograde for four months. It's going, it's going forward this week too. So you're going to start to see progress. And I can see that here across the top with the Six of Wands. This is success. This is being seen and appreciated, right? This is her training this hummingbird and offering the hummingbird the flowers so the hummingbird is peaceful while it's moving forward. This is her successfully moving herself forward with the help of others. And then the sun, enlightenment, happiness, joy, fulfillment. This is abundance. With the star, this is being led. This is positive, every single bit of it. Success, happiness, and faith, and hope, and life. That no matter what, no matter how much we're scarred, we can always plant that seed, we can always help it grow. And we can always get a new perspective so that we can appreciate the deep roots that we can't even see, even though that that's what's been growing. Right? We wait for the sprouts that come above the ground. We want to see the beautiful rose. And we forget that the roots are necessary. Right? I always say it takes the sun to grow things, certainly. Right? It does. But it takes the rain, too. It takes the rain, too. The hard stuff. That's the perspective. That all of it is for the good. All of it. It helps us to grow. In the second row, we have the death card. So you can see she's transforming from the inside out down to her bones. And she's growing too. You're growing, Aquarius. You're building a life that will be a life well lived. These are generations, the rings of the tree. That's what they represent. You can see family. You can see the home that he's built. You can see that he's been successful. And Seven of Pentacles sitting atop the tree of life and examining exactly the fruits of your labor and seeing how successful you've been. Whether or not you've got a million dollars, right, doesn't really matter. It's, it's, you know, are you growing? Are you loving and being loved? Are you able to laugh, right? Eat a nice meal, have fun times with a friend, that's the real richness of life, isn't it? So two of swords. Maybe you're in two minds about something, trying to make a decision about what to do. You know, you've got your heart open, but maybe someone either next to you is a little closed off, a little under the rain, and you're the umbrella, or maybe vice versa. But you've got somebody there with you. And if, it, if this is just you, then it's like one day, one sword, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm a heart, you know, heart's open, ready to move forward in life with love. And then the other day is the other sword, but, you know, today is just the same old, same old, <laughs> right? And you talk yourself out of your own gratitude, right? Because we can very often become listless and without the spark, without energy, without inspiration, when we, all we can see are, are the things we haven't done yet. Oh, well the leaves, I haven't seen the leaves yet. I haven't seen the rose bloom yet. We forget to be really grateful and happy and reverent that the roots are growing. They aren't seen yet, okay? You can't see them yet, but they're there. So I want to say to you, Sag, uh, Aquarius, that, you know, I know it's hard to be patient. <laughs> I know, especially during Mercury retrograde. And by the way, Mercury retrograde, there are so many miscommunications. You know, things can be delayed if you're waiting for news. This Ace of Pentacles is very real. This is the suit of Earth. Whatever it is, it's tangible, it's real, and it will last. Just try to get another perspective of how far you've come. You Right now, you may be feeling a little scarred and a little dejected. You've worked very hard to
to heal your ouch, to transform your life, to get moving forward again. And little do you know that with your wishing and your hoping and your faith, you actually are moving forward and you're doing it successfully. You, are, you have rooted yourself and you are abundant. You are being successful and you are being given the light of the sun and the star. You are being given this beautiful, bountiful love and abundance in your life. So the question for you, Aquarius, is how do you see it? Do you see it that way? What is it that you count when you count your blessings? What is it that you value? Are you remembering to value the roots deep underground? Because even if those roots have been difficult and painful for you inside, internally, your internal roots, your childhood, right? Your naked soul, your inner child, whatever it is that you're healing, you are becoming an abundant person who can co-create an abundant life. It's very rare to see so much success all in a row. Six of Wands, Sun, Star. And it's all here for you. And this is you, Major Arcana. You're being guided to be blessed. So I wish you the best. I wish you kindness, reverence, and gratitude. And I will talk to you again next week. Thank you so much. See you.